What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs and welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and reviews. We haven't had one of these in a while but I'm super excited. I have some new boxes from Manjurake so we are going to do a Manjurake monthly. So I don't remember which of the Mandrake stores that I purchased these from, but I usually try to stock up at one store and get everything shipped from that one store to save on shipping. And then I'll like bulk buy a bunch of stuff from another Mandrake store that's somewhere in Japan and purchase everything from that store. Cause there are multiple Mandrake stores in Japan and each of them ship separately. Cause they never really know what stock they have. It's way easier for them to just ship straight to you than for them to like ship to a warehouse and then ship to you. So I have a couple of different items. These are most likely from different stores and I do fully intend to do a review and a talk through, a walk through of how to purchase things from Mandrake. So don't worry, that video is coming. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this first box, which I know only has one item in it. I can tell because it's super lightweight. I have been on a roll lately with all of my figure collecting. So this was one of the figures that I had not yet collected. So I decided to go ahead and get it. I believe this is from an Ichiban Kuji reward. So I'll go ahead and open this for you, but it's basically Sailor Moon on a Crescent Moon. Okay, so the first thing I see with this is it has a little tag on the front that says unopened. Uh, that means that whoever sold this to Mandrake had never actually opened it and taken it out of the box, which is great for me. So I'm gonna open it and take it out of the box. Oh yeah, so excited. Oh God, I should probably not like destroy this thing in the process. Oh, Sailor Moon. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so here's our figure. It's a very simple figure as far as the pieces go. There's no pieces that you have to put together on it, uh, but it's Sailor Moon on a crescent moon. And it actually looks really good. The detailing on this looks awesome. I don't automatically see any defects. It looks beautiful. Wow, I'm so impressed. I am very impressed by this cute little figurine. This is adorable. I can't believe this was a like Ichiban Kuji reward. Um, I believe it's like one of those like lottery things where you, you buy tickets and then you get rewards. So this was one of them. Or maybe she was like a crane game thing. I don't know. I don't remember. But she goes for quite a bit of money on eBay. So I didn't really want to spend that much money on her. But I did want to add her to my collection. So I was just waiting until I saw her on Mandrake. Finally did. So I decided to purchase her. Cute. Okay. My second box is all used items that I received. I will go ahead and take these out. She looks so janky. <laughs> That's funny. Man, I need to poof her up. She's not looking that great. Now, you would think that she was super rare because everybody is trying to get her, but she's not. I have seen her all over the internet all the time. Uh, Mandrake just happened to have a pretty inexpensive one that included the tag on it, which sometimes you can find her without a tag. She is vintage. This is from the 1990s. I don't know which year she's from, but this is one of the very rare plushies that I decided to get. Uh, ben Presto made her. 1995 back in 1995 so i just love this adorable little diana figure uh this plush figure she does include the little bell too although the bell has gotten a little rusty over time and she does have a little mark on her back leg but that's okay i mean she's a used product from the 1990s i think she still looks really good for her age uh she's adorable so i'll be adding this to my collection as one of my super rare little items that's not actually super rare Okay, the next item I got is also vintage, and this is also used. This is a Sailor Moon pin collection book. Uh, so this is basically just a binder for any pins that you collect from Sailor Moon. And the nice thing about it is if you collect one of these books and it comes with a bunch of pins, generally the pins, if they are in the book, will cost like $5 each. So it's way less expensive to just buy them all in the book as opposed to like purchasing each of the pins separately. So I went ahead and did the book instead. Now it does fold out so you can have the pin backs on there as well so they won't fall out of place. 
and if I open this you will see the pin backings on there now I do need to get a few of these pins back on their backings because they did fall off so I'll just have to go through and find whichever ones fell off and then put them back on but it does include a whole bunch of really cute pins some of which are really hard to find so I was very happy to find this there's quite a few in here of Helios which is super cool there's some of Diana in here a bunch of chibi characters too I really like this because I do like collecting pins and I haven't really gotten into collecting many, many of the vintage pins. So if I can find all of these pin collection books, then I feel like I'll be able to just store all of my vintage collections in here as opposed to like finding some, uh, some cardboard you know, frames to actually stick them in like I do have back there. Okay, so the next vintage item I got is this. It's called the Memorial Song Box. Now, y'all out there that might know a lot more about collecting than I do, please let me know if this is legitimate because it looks like a bootleg. I can't really tell if it's a bootleg or not. It, it's so hard to tell. I mean, it might be, but I just, I don't know. Um, it does have all of the information listed on it as far as like, you know, it's a com compact disc set. It comes with the booklet as well is printed in here and it's included and it's in perfect condition too. Uh, but some of the wording is kind of cut off. So it looks a little bootleggy, but I'm glad that it comes with all the music. So hopefully I didn't spend a bunch of money on something that is a bootleg. I don't know, I guess we'll see. It did come from Mandrake, so maybe it's not. And each of these is printed really nicely too. So I'm not, I'm thinking it's not a bootleg, but I don't know, I just wanna be sure because I don't like collecting anything that is not licensed. It's really pretty though. It comes with all of the discs and each of these discs has a whole series of songs on them. So this is a great little collector's piece. I know that it's really hard to find at a good price, so I was pretty excited that I found it. However, yeah, I just wanna make sure it's not a bootleg, because if it is, I'll just probably like get rid of this one and then try to find myself one of the real ones. Okay, so that's it for the vintage items. I also got a couple of newer items that I just wanted and I kind of missed the sales for them. So the first thing is a Q-Pot piece of jewelry. Now this one is pretty inexpensive. This is a keychain. Okay, so this keychain is from one of the Q-Pot collaborations. It has a little pearl that has Luna on it as well as the little Q-Pot uh, Sailor Moon Crescent Moon insignia that's on it. It is very heavy just like the other keychains that I've gotten and it does have some I believe those are Swarovski crystals on it too, uh, but it's supposed to look like a little star-shaped macaroon and I think it's adorable. It was on my list for a very long time. There's still a few items from the Q-Pot lines that I have yet to get, but this was one of the ones that I can finally mark off my list. Yay. All right, and the last item on my list for today's Mandrake Monthly is a bookmark. Uh, this bookmark is currently being given out with the Bunko books that are sold in Japan. You can only find them if you purchase one of those Bunko books either through the King eShop on the Pretty Guardians website or if you buy them from the Sailor Moon store. I know you can get the bookmarks with them there. I think those are the only two places, uh, but I was missing Chibi Moon, so I really wanted to add her to my collection. By the way, I've already looked in a couple of my boxes for a few other unboxings, and I know that I have all of these bookmarks except for Sailor Mercury. So if you have Sailor Mercury and you wanna trade, I have an extra Sailor Moon bookmark, so I'm more than happy to trade if anybody out there has an extra Sailor Mercury or if you'd be willing to part with her because I really want to finish my collection of these bookmarks. I think they're beautiful and she's the only one I'm missing and I haven't seen her show up online on eBay or Mandrake yet, so I've been looking. She just hasn't been there yet. Okay, so that is everything from my Mandrake Monthly this month. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure did. I love unboxing things from Mandrake. It's always, it's almost like Christmas every single time. It's super fun to see the variety of the collections that you can get from Mandrake, and it's always really enjoyable to see like the quality of the items that are sold there. Now, if you have any questions about any of these products, make sure to leave those below in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And I think that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe as well if you haven't already. Really appreciate everybody that does subscribe to the channel. My name is Sailor Snubs, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!